Hello and welcome to the Fred TV Sports Report. I'm Evan Massoud coming to you this week from Ruggles Park. The Hilltoppers Spring Sports Banquet was held recently at Durfee and amongst all of the awards, probably the most coveted is the Player of the Year Award. For the girls, it was Jordan Govin taking home the hardware. For the boys, it was Eli Brooks and Ibrahim Naata in a rare tie. They share the title as co-recipients. Congratulations to all of the student athletes here in Fall River for another great school year. On to baseball now. After a weekend loss to Dartmouth, Fall River Post 464 was looking to bounce back on Tuesday night against visiting Westport, a team comprised mostly of Fall River players, including Fred TV alum Desmond Sanders. And fortunately for all, the lights and the umbrellas would not be needed as the rains came earlier in the day. We'll start in the top of the first. Fall River starter Nick Salmon on the hill, striking out the side to keep Westport off the scoreboard. A good start for him. The offense also got off to a good start. Salmon's teammates gave him some run support in the bottom of the first. Alex Benavides with the sack fly and the RBI to bring home Colin Medeiros, who beat the throw from Adam Rodriguez for the 1-0 lead. Bottom two now, two down and a man on for Zach Souza. He drives it the other way. Colby Haw is tracking it, but he runs out of room. The Chew Park jet stream carries another ball onto Globe Street. The two-run shot for Souza makes it 3-0 Fall River. To the bottom of the third now, 3-1 to one the score. Remy Dumont at the plate with two on. He turns on the fastball and sends it to the gap. That's going to play to pair. Alex Benavides in from second, Kyle LePage around from first, and Dumont ends up at third with a two-out, two-run triple. It's 5-1 to one home team. And despite allowing six runs in the final three frames, Fall River remains perfect at home after an 8-7 to seven win at Chew Park. And Post 464 did it again on Wednesday as well, holding off a Kushnet in a 5-4 one-run victory, moving into first place atop the league standings at the halfway mark with a 6-3 record. Now, you may be wondering, what's Evan doing at Ruggles Park? Well, here's the answer. Right here at Ruggles last weekend, Greater Fall River Recreation took over the park for its annual kickoff to summer event, a free community fest featuring a number of fun activities to partake in. Executive Director Grace Gerling told me that preparation and planning is key to running such a big event, one that is not only fun, but also a form of communication for the organization. We start early in getting everyone together and making sure the event kicks off without a hitch. We have so many summer programs uh, through, uh, through July and August. This is a great venue to showcase what we have to offer. And one of the main programs that we offer is our summer lunch in the parks. We're gonna be throughout the entire city um, at nine different parks, how, four different housing authority uh, developments, and a number of different schools that have their own enrollment that we will pro be providing lunches. Fall River resident Lamar Stevens says he's tired of the negative image that people paint of Fall River, explaining that this event is really what being a community is all about. He and his toddler, Camden, spoke to me about how much they are enjoying the summer kickoff. I like when people come together in Fall River because we have a lot to offer. And this is, I got two kids, two boys, and every time this is going on, I bring them down and they have fun, and it's safe, good safe fun, and it's good for the city. I looked at the rabbit. Did you get to go in the bouncy tent? Yeah. Yeah? How'd you like that? Good. Yeah? Yeah. So as you can see, there really was a lot to do here at Ruggles. There was even a pickup basketball tournament up on the hill in the courts along Locust Street. So a great afternoon for all. Now, as Grace said, there are a plethora of events and camps coming up this summer. So if you're interested, go on to their website. It's gfrrec.org. That'll do it for the sports wrap this week and for June. It's hard to believe it's already been four weeks and that July is just around the corner. We'll be back in two weeks from tonight on July 8th, so join me then at 7.30 right here on Channel 9. Until then, I'm Evan Massoud. Hope you have a great 4th of July.